my head straight. I can never get my head straight in this place. I feel like I'm a little crooked. Looks I huge. I feel like I slept on it wrong. <laughs> you wanted to Looks talk. Gigantic. What's on your head? Yeah, what the? Ah, what I'm, am trying I... a new, I'm trying a new look. What am I looking at? What's on your head? It's my new look. It's called a beanie, you dork. A beanie? Yeah. You've never heard of one? All you the look... cool kids are wearing them. I, there's just so much of it. Usually, I thought a beanie was like, <laughs> like, smaller and I like. Got extensions. You got extensions? Ah. Yeah. What? What is That's happening? Great. What are you? What is happening with you? Listen, I turned over a new leaf. Okay. Yeah. What's what leaf the is leaf? that? Marrow. Oh, never mind. I don't want to talk about that, but yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, I started hanging out with some new pals. Was it a reggae band? Good guess. Good guess. Ah, uh, no. I have. A, you're. You're never gonna believe this. I. I believe that I am not I gonna believe this. I this is. This is every story. Of yeah, yours. I already don't believe it. I struck up an, an unlikely friendship. I don't believe the friendship part. And I not believe with you your probably because because we're best friends. You know what? Don't bring her up right now. Don't do it. I don't like that. Well. If you must know, besides your mom, I started hanging out at Half Gas. Okay, you started hanging out at a gas you, station. You know what that is? Yeah, it's the gas you know station in is? town. Yeah, I know what it is. It's a gas station. Yeah, it's cool. You know why it's cool? No, it's. I have no idea. I just get gas and occasionally I get a cup of coffee. But they're very nice. Well, you can buy smokes there if you're of age. Smokes? And booze. Okay, all right. They, yeah. They smoke some, it's a convenience store is what you're saying. You're saying it's a convenience <laughs> store? They got smokes, they got booze. Do they also have yeah, gas? Yeah, they got the, uh, I guess. I think so. I think so. I, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't really look. I walked in there. They had a puppy. Uh, it kind of looked like your mom. And I was like, oh, look, it's like it's Jason Waterfalls is here. And I, th I thought, great things. And then I looked in the wall, and guess what they had? Uh, a mugshot of you hanging up? No, no, no. Skateboards. Oh, skateboards. How is that doing? That's, that is And now that I different. have this new licensing deal, this new t-shirt company, I have this new t-shirt company, we, uh, Half Gas and I went into business together, started making some skateboards and some uh, cool t-shirts. Oh, look I'm at that. one of the t-shirts right now. They made this one. Got they some made merchandise. This, this is look pretty cool. That. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, that's really yeah, something. Yeah, check out my new skateboard. I, start, I started skateboarding. No more parkour for me. Whoa, Only whoa, skateboarding. This, I got This is going to be a lead story on Montezuma tonight. You're going to finally Don't tell use anybody. that skate park in your backyard? No. no. Nope. Where are you I'm going go to gonna go to the local one in Frisco. You have a better skate park than the local one in Frisco. You have all of the X Games ramps yeah, nope, in your backyard. Told, I told you. I told you. I will I will stay true to one thing. That thing will only be a parkour course forever. How are your balls feeling these days? From all the kids you know, that kick them into uh, your throat? Well, uh, I've had uh, better better days. Uh, I, I thought the skateboarding would help. Uh, they, they keep saying things like, uh, have you ever heard of a thing called a mall grab? No, no, I don't yeah, know anything you about mall your grab. your hand over the trucks. Yeah, like, okay, you ever play, like, uh, when you're, when you're a kid, or like, well, you probably didn't play with anybody. Um, like, did you ever, like, uh, like, when people did play with you, did you ever play the game, like, the floor is lava, like, where you can't touch the floor? Yeah, I did. That was a fun game. Shared by all. We all had such a good time as kids playing that game. You didn't play with anybody, did you? Yeah, I <laughs> did. Okay, I had friends. I had a lot of friends. Name, name, name two of them. First, last, and their birth dates. And Jamie? No one knows nope, birthdays long, anymore. Too Facebook, long. You don't Facebook know anybody. He's from Germany. Us, He's and that. Jamie from Germany, okay? And is I I don't know his mm -hmm. birthday. It's been a long time since we talked. Okay, I've moved on. I was very successful. What are you, pen pals? No, I'm not pen pals. Pen pals like even, you hundred. We don't reach did you guys out. Write, we, did, you guys, did you guys write love letters back and forth? 
no, we didn't write love letters because we hung out all the time. We didn't write letters. We were busy you, fighting I'm, lava and when did you hang out with stuff. anybody? I don't know. When did you? When's the last time you hang out with somebody besides us? I, I'm busy. I, okay, I don't need friends. All right, I just go and I do things. All right, things get done. I'm very busy. Yeah. I am working on my act. I am busy, busy, he is busy. An independent woman. Say, no, your act is getting definitely better. Uh, and I, we have seen a, a boost in sales. That's why I've licensed all of the new uh, World of Montezuma skateboard collection. Look at our new what? graphic. That's uh, me. Come on. Yep. I didn't approve this. I do like Blowing the color, it. though. I do like the color. I do like the contrast. What I don't like is where's my money for this? Listen, we reinvested it into these skateboards and we're giving them away. The first person to correctly name your two friends and their birth dates will win a free skateboard courtesy of your paycheck. Oh, don't forget about Chad John. Chad John was my other friend. Oh, he was a hoot. Chad John Johnson. Loved. We had so many good Sounds times. real, real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was great. He lived right down the street on 555 Johnson Road. That sounds almost as Jason. believable if you told me that uh, Drop Dead Fred uh, had Right Said Fred as their lead soundtrack. Hey, Ron. You know how old that joke is? Ron. You'll get that because because you're 100. Ron, do me a favor. Say, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. <laughs> Murderer. Thanks, man. That was worth come it. The high step, uh, come the high-stepper. Come the high-stepper. Murderer. Say, Say, who is it to Still come cool, like cool it down? Who is it? Who is it to come cool it down? Huh? Say that. <laughs> nope. Not going to say that. No way. I'm not an idiot. Guess who didn't just say it, though? Camera was on you. And look at our new merch. I got to tell you, I do like it. <laughs> you do have an eye for design. I don't know who that guy is. But it's not me, because I am handsome uh -uh. and... That guy looks like he's trying to pass a Buick on the crapper. <laughs> that was the, that was the T-shirt logo. Remember the T-shirt, total bitch. I mean, yeah. pitch. Still we waiting on it, that, everyone. Still waiting on you that guys check. Can get... Ah, no, we reinvested the money into these boards. They come Did... as they're called Christmas completes. Hey, Ron, is that really a beanie, or did you have a lobotomy? It's called a lobotomy. That makes sense. That's actually really it good. It is. You should sell those. That's a good idea. How are your extensions? Was it hard yeah. to get them in? Like, because you have you don't wash your hair. Nah, I wonder. I wonder. Look like my buddy. I just assumed it was greasy this, this and dirty. Is what all the, this is what all the cool skateboarders look like. Oh yeah, I, I figured, see everyone around town. They look like this. I just How? figured you you went by a Halloween store and, and the braids came on the hat. Ooh, Listen, that's a saving. Uh, we don't have any. Hey, that's a good idea. What do you, what, well, oh, I guess we got to do this, this, uh, news segment thing that you got going on here. The, yes. the uh, Montezuma Tonight yes. Today, the it's second version of it. Oh, of the, it's everybody's favorite time of the podcast. Really weird news look at, stories. Look at that guy's face. Wait, wait, go back, go back, go back to that guy's face. That guy's face just as shocked that I am that there's going to be any kind of movement on this thing. Look, Tay's got a new hoodie. Ah, we already licensed it. No, I'm available black. now. What? That's the Tay Custom. Let's dance about it. Ah. Oh man, how, God, you're quick. I don't know yeah. how he gets over there so fast. All right, go ahead. Do your, do your. Do we your tried the title. Do. We tried. We tried the title for the graphic blowing it, but then the censors said that we we couldn't do it. And I told him it was just grape jelly behind your head, and they thought it was a uh, reference to something else. Right. Well, <laughs> on to news. My goodness. Okay, and first go. story of the night. That's my, I was, I, you know what? I was listening to your advice, and I think I might do some musical comedy. What do you think about that? What? Ah, I'm great. You're tone deaf and can't read a room. Here we go. A Pennsylvania man. Him. Go ahead, Tay, please. I'm not just trying to no, update no, no, everyone sorry, as to what's going on out there, but no, it's okay. You have that side chatter. You guys no, get you're doing it. Great. Ah, this is completely different than what you do night every night. I'm just a guy whose face is <laughs> on there. Unbelievable. A Pennsylvania man has struck out in his attempt to bring his emotional support 
alligator to a Philadelphia Phillies baseball game. Joa Henney went to Citizens Bank Park on Wednesday hoping to see the Phillies beat the Pittsburgh Pirates, but he wasn't alone. Along with him was Wally Gator, a five-foot-long Henny adopted in 2015 and is made into a popular animal on both Instagram and TikTok. A video of Wally being walked by a girl went viral last year. Henny and Wally look. Henny and Wally hooked up after a friend of Henny's in Florida asked for some help relocating a group of alligators whose homes were destroyed because of land development. Henny took Wally in his York County home, and they've been a happy pair ever since. I've never bet an alligator that will not bite you last year. You fool around, their instinct is to grab you. He does not do it. Man, you can reach I in there and the rub Philly his tongue. He refuses to close later. his mouth. We don't know why. Actually, uh, well, I don't know. That's the end uh, of the story. I was just wondering. I, well, I was. It was in shock that <laughs> I was in shock that it took that long for you to tell me a story about an alligator getting kicked out of a baseball game. I, what I'm more worried well, about know, is, did the Philly fanatic and him go party later at night? That would be a cool. You know what? That, that would be a actually, cool show. The Philly fanatic and the Gator, the Florida Gators party together. Right? Yeah, that'd no? be a good show. Yeah. I, I, I got to tell you, I'd watch that. I would watch that. It's not a bad idea. I've heard worse, like wearing a beanie a and extensions, like <laughs> all the time now. And skating on a Barbie skateboard. This is a new thing I'm doing. This is a very new thing that I like to do. <laughs> yeah, well, it it needs. You know what it needs to be a thing you used to do. Listen, <laughs> it's all about personal growth and development. Unlike you that wears the same thing every day. You're personally your growing into that chair. Smell, your head mm. is going to smell like the back of a kneecap. If I know you're never going to take that off your head. You need to take it off. <laughs> I'm leaving it on forever. Look how cool I look. How'd you, you lose all that weight cool. again anyway? You look, like, you look like a hornet's nest ah. with a face. Your joke would have landed better if you didn't glitch. It's a simulation. <laughs> Who are you calling bitch? Who are you calling, bitch? I'll, I'll reach over there. I'll do it. I'm crazy. I dare you to reach this. anywhere. I dare you to reach anywhere. Reach right now. Go ahead and reach. Yeah. Reach over here I'm and smack. I can't. I'm <laughs> so... I'm sorry. I'm too tired. I can't. All right? I've had a long day. I'm busy. Wow. <laughs> I got a podcast to put out. I got a new show to run. I got this is comedy this is to great. tell. What do you got to do? <laughs> Not get... St- not get attached to the seat I, because you're weird. I guess, weird I, guess I guess I gotta sit here and I got I said I guess I gotta sit here and listen to the old show that you deliver. Definitely not news. The old show? Hmm. Oh, yeah, very it's not nice. News. Time for some more news. No. Nope. Oh. Take the differ. Here we go. And When's that. this story from? Quick, quick, quick. Give me a date. Uh today, uh four hours ago. All right. Ooh, that's news. Okay. All right. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Go. Crocodile save dog stranded in river instead of eating it. Impossible case of emotional empathy. The giant reptiles have a reputation for being opportunistic predators, such as Ron, but chose to nudge the dog to safety. In what scientists say may be <laughs> sentient behavior suggested uh, this is hilarious. of cross species wait, wait, is empathy. This, uh, is this an all crocodile bit These hour? These crocodiles doing? saved a dog seeking refuge in a river in a possible display. Mm. A report published in the Journal it of seems like someone Taxa forgot to pay their outlines internet how bill. a young dog was observed being chased by a pack of feral dogs and entered the shallow waters of the Savitri River. Ah, who gives a shit? There's a river in India. Anyway, the dog had, had not been spotted by the three <laughs> mugger crocodiles floating nearby, which began edging closer to what appeared to be a certain prey. The adult reptiles described by the Wildlife Institute of India as opportunistic Ron Lasanos instead of pushed the dog to safety using their snouts. They even guided him to an area of the river bank that wasn't occupied by the feral pack, allowing the dog to make a safe escape on land. Now that is a story with a happy ending. Sounds good. Uh, my, my first question is, what's the moral <laughs> of this story, I guess? <laughs> my first question is, what? The second question is, is the moral of the story that uh, if I can stand here and listen to it, 
I have only lost 90 seconds of my life. Are you going to change your name to Ron Marley? Yes. Yes. I'm working on it. Just checking for branding's sake, you know. <laughs> Actually, anyway, I thought it was be, a delightful uh, story. I'll tell you why. Ronnie because, Nelson. Because crocodiles could have eaten him in a heart, but they helped him because they did. You know what? They didn't like those dogs bullying him. You know, and I think that's that's, that's a good thing for the animal kingdom. What do like you What bully. do you think about that? I think I think you know who else doesn't like a bully that has uh, crocodile tears. Who? <laughs> what is this about to be? What is this? <laughs> Uh, well, let's just say, let's just say his first name rhymes with Jason, last name rhymes with Waterfalls. Oh, man. That was so bad, it was it almost rhymes. art. I did mention crocodile tears. I brought the story back around. Let me guess. Third story. Another thing about a crocodile. What's the deal with? Where are we going with it? I don't know what you mean, man. I don't know what you're talking about. I can't stop staring at that nipple. What's on the, okay, head. third story. What's the third story? <laughs> third story coming up. Jeez, people are hungry for news tonight. Am I right? Am I right? They're hungry for alligator bites. Get it? It's another alligator bit. Well, let me get my little story queued up here, huh? There we go. <laughs> what we got? Oh, you'll love this story, Tay. This is right up bet. your alley or should i say dispensary? alligator alley alligator alley alligator oh there we go here we go keep off that grass herd of sheep eats a hundred kilograms of cannabis in greece after storm daniel floods heat waves wildfires and extreme flooding hit greece during the summer destroying many areas of farmland and leaving surviving livestock struggling to find anything to eat a herd of sheep struggling to find fresh grass for food due to extreme flooding started behaving strangely after eating large parts of a cannabis crop, according to reports. The sheep invaded a greenhouse producing medicinal cannabis, in and the owner said the crop had already been badly damaged by a heat wave, and Storm Daniel and the sheep had finished what was left. What do you think about that, huh? Did you say Stormy Daniels? Stormy Did you say Daniels. Stormy Daniels in the sheep was, finish. No, it not Stormy Daniels. Storm Daniel. I see what you're doing. That's not what I said. Ah, oh, but it is funny. It's Storm kind of Daniels funny. Storm Daniel. Sheep. Yeah. I yeah. think that's what you got from it. See what you did there. No, I think that's what you got from it because I know that you listen to every fifth word that I say. So I'm pretty sure that's how you interpreted what I, I said. I don't even do that. Not even in a joking manner. I don't even listen to every literally. fifth word. I listen to every like. 50th word. Yeah. You misheard I know. me. I see the blank stare. It's not even a stare because your eyes are never open, but I see it. <laughs> I mean, you know, I did get this cool beanie for uh, many, many reasons. One is I can just tune out and tune you out. I can uh, <laughs> store things in here, like devices to Abraham tune you out. Lincoln? Abraham Lincoln? Yeah, I started filming some cool things. I started hanging out with Sally. We got some cool footage of you. I feel like you bought that hat at the Lego store. No, nope, <laughs> I like it. I think it's really dumb. And I, I think you're uh, I think I think you're not being authentic. <laughs> and I think you're uh being what the kids say, a poser. Ooh. Man, why are you yapping? I heard that I heard the real kids at the skate <laughs> shop saying that. All the, I know all the comedies and all the lingos. Why are you yapping? Uh, I'm yapping because I'm speaking the truth, bruh. Ew. You sound bruh. like a real dick. It's only cool when I say it. Of course. <laughs> Why is it cool when bruh. you say it? Have you seen yourself? Bruh. It's bruh. Let me ask you a not question. It's bruh. It's not bruh. Are, are these skater kids being any nicer bruh. to you now that you dress like this? Are yes. they being... Oh, are they really? I support. Do they think you're wearing a disguise? Is that why they're not constantly kicking you in the Johnson? Huh? No. I also, now that I'm on this podcast, I have a lot more credibility. They also think you're a dick. Yeah, but I don't get assaulted by them. I'm nice to those kids because they're the future. Kind of nice. You just talk trash about them and how I won't let them skate. Now we have an understanding. They know they can't skate, but at least we have mutual respect for each other. A mutual respect of Vernon Jason Waterfalls. 
Mm, I'm pretty sure they're still mad at you and want to basically do the merengue on your testicles. Listen, it's called perks of the job. I don't know what that means. But <laughs> Jeez. Wow. That's what that's what I heard you told me it was called at least. I bet your head smells like a wet cotton swab right now. That would smell amazing. It's no, a real it summer's eve over <laughs> here. When you you got to stop with this. You're not going to get any respect from the kids being dr- dressed like this. I mean, yeah, you looked like a complete idiot before with your weird ass legs and the short shorts, but at least it was your look. This isn't you, Ron. This is definitely me. I love it. It's winter time coming. I got to change it up a little bit. I'm fashion forward. I follow all the hip fashion brands. What what brands are you talking about? You really want to know? Yeah, I'm I, I'm involved. I got to know what you're talking about cuz you make no sense ever. I'm making a play for vintage Massimo to come back. That could happen, you know, because, you know, the 90s are big right now. I think that could and make it happen. Torn. Ooh, that could also happen. Torn Massimo. In an ironic Kepa. way, it could come back. Could. Capa. Capa. Cross mm-hmm. colors. I think Capa could make a big comeback. Cross colors. Yeah. Yeah. You ever get the, uh, you ever get the uh, Jenko jeans back in the day? Oh, no, yeah. that Those wasn't. That's not me. Sure. I was. I dressed like a human being most of my life, not like a uh, ska- nerd. Like I <laughs> was that the excuse? Not like a malnourished <laughs> skateboarder. Listen, I call it fashion forward. <laughs> yeah, your ass Nerds backwards. Way. Yeah, I see what you did there. That was a good one. That was actually good. You should use that on set. On set? Are Would we filming something? With- no, you should no. Well, I'm trying to like. I think I'm you're getting overheated. Your, uh, con- I think... I'm trying to talk up your act. Yeah, I think you're I'm overheating to talk it up a little bit. Like, I, I... Is that made of wool? You're gonna smell like a goat's it's asshole if you don't get it I'll off your head. It. I'll pack out of here. <laughs> well, you look like a cracker. Ah, in... <laughs> oh, that's bad. I don't know. I don't know if you can say that. I, I can. Um, <laughs> I, as a member. As a member of what people call crackers or sometimes honkies, I can use that word whenever I want. <laughs> I love crackers. And I love cheese. And I bet you smell like rotten cheese. Uh, that's, that is definitely obvious. You love cheese. You are 100% cheese. A modern day charcuterie board. A charcuterie board of bullshit. How long are you going to leave these extensions in before you, they smother you to death? And can I hope for that? I mean, I'm waiting for uh, I'm waiting for a Glendora to see it and see what she thinks. All right, you know if do you ever notice how I never we're doing a face I never after go this. below the belt. You ever we're see how I never? Timing. No, you're not. You don't even know how to work a FaceTime. We're FaceTiming <laughs> caught, after this. I caught you staring at your hand one time. No, I just go into your I FaceTime. Just, no, no, no. I just go into your window and I can see her on the phone and she talks to me while you are talking in the other room. No, you, you overhear think a you think conversation. she's paying attention to you. She's talking to me. No, she's nope, not. She's You're outside. I'm, I'm stop looking in my window. It's right. really weird. She's looking out the window. Find something else to do. Yeah, Why are you good. spying on me? It's strange. How do you have time to do I'm anything not else? To spy on you. Yeah, you are. You're looking in my I, window to no. see me on a conversation with my sweet mother. What are you doing? I'm trying to see Glendora, and you just happen to get in the way with your big head. You need to go skateboard somewhere. Go skateboard with the skate kids <laughs> at Half Gas. That's what you need to do. Oh, it's awesome there. They have so many burns about you there. Oh, do they? Sick What's burns. the biggest sick burns? Sick, sick so burns. They sell skateboards, trucks, liquor, and smokes, and sick burns on Jason Waterfalls. Is that what they sell there? Hmm? <laughs> they Sounds don't sell ridiculous. them. They give that shit out for free. Mm-hmm. They give that shit out for free daily. It's like a daily fashion down there. I think what happens is you go down there, hang out, try to be funny, and the only material you have is making fun of me. This may be true, but it kills. I don't. Think I do it a does. nightly set down there. I bet if I walk down there and talk to people, you would be <laughs> extremely annoying, and they'd want to know why this person who's in the witness protection program is trying to use these very, very specific jokes on them. They track. I think the hat Listen, is so big, big audience there. it's pulling your neck to the left. That's how big that stupid hat is. What do we think? Ah, uh, here we go. 
I feel normal now. Yeah, the blood's probably going Deep to the voice. other side of your head. Deep voice. Ah, that was amazing. Glendora's cooking. Okay, so what's your favorite skateboard trick? Uh, it's for the audience, since they're so <sighs> fixed on your brand new look. Skateboard and run. What's your favorite trick? Impossible. Go ahead. Impossible. It's called impossible? Ollie impossible. Ollie impossible. It's called impossible. the impossible. Okay, okay. When I even know that you wrap it. Oh, you don't wrap it. I bet you don't wrap your impossibles. I don't. I don't. I have no I idea bet, what I you're... bet you have sloppy impossibles. My next question was, what is that? Because I don't know what it is. So why don't you tell the listeners that, what an impossible friend, is? Because I, it, I'll, I'll tell you what it is. That's where you uh, take your know. board and your back foot when you ollie. And when you wrap your back foot around, you make the board do a, a loop right around your back foot. Impossible. And it smacks you back around. But when the way you do it, it's called, it, looks, it looks like a 360 varial. Um, I don't know a lot about I tell, sports. I know the, I know the tricks. I know Hudson's little, been telling me about them. I know little to nothing about skateboarding. But I know one thing for sure. It's that you've never you know executed little, nothing that trick. about a lot of things. You've never successfully mm-hmm. executed that trick you described to me right now. Let me put it to you another way. That may way. be true, it but I be, know I know that you need to wrap it, and I know that you don't wrap them. I, it would you be would easier definitely not wrap yours. for you to levitate and shoot lasers out of your ears than it would for you to complete the thing you just described uh, to me right now. This may be true. I want to see you ride a but, skateboard in a straight line. That That's that's a start. Well, I can already tell that you don't skate because it's not cool to ride in a straight line. You and I've zig mentioned and it several times before. Yep, I don't. I don't skate. Why not? I'm an adult. Uh, I'm a man. and I No, don't, you're not. I don't like to ride toys no. as an adult, okay? Things to do. <laughs> I was going to make a joke about you riding some toys, but it uh, wasn't appropriate for this medium. All right, you're disgusting, and you're not helping. Uh, Look at that face. That's a face. That's a face of a person who definitely doesn't ride toys. Okay, so now that you're selling these, is are they selling these at Half Gas right now? Not yet. I got to work a deal. <laughs> What's the deal? What What do they get out of the deal? More of you hanging out? Uh, fame, exposure. Fame, fame exposure. exposure? What kind of exposure? Yeah, well, namely, I could not go there. Exposing them to the life that is uh, quiet. But if I did go there, I bring the excitement of the world where I forgot where I was going with. It doesn't matter because, you know, I like to hang out there. I think he just crapped his pants. Did you just crap your no, pants, Ron? Didn't do that. I mean, you really leaned into it. I there leaned might, into some, a there lot might of be things. some poo poo in there. I think there might be some poop. You got poop in there? <laughs> you got poopy pants? Hmm? You got poop in your pants? <laughs> it's called a nugget of truth. Oh, you you do have a little nug nug in there, huh? A little poop poop? <laughs> a little crummy? A little huh? nugget of truth for you. A little crumped up? Here, here's, a, here's a nugget of truth for you. This show sucks. Yeah, I know. I know, and I do it every day because apparently I need to do a podcast to fit in with the new world. Here we are doing a podcast. Wee! So fun. Worth it. Love meeting up with you two. Always a good time. You got any what, sponsors I would yet? Rather, huh? Besides me? I'm working on that right besides now. Besides me? Where I'm talking to a lot of sponsors what, right now. What do you, a lot what's of What's your them. hottest lead? What's your hottest lead? Uh, I'm I'm locking something down with um a uh i don't want to get into it it's i I don't want to jinx it it's a big deal i don't i don't really want to get into it you got nothing huh yeah pretty much (laughs) all right right, let's brainstorm ideas of who we could reach out to what about the local car dealership uh you can let people uh you can let people chase you in the parking lot while they test drive new cars oh that's cute i see what you did that's funny. That's really cool. That's a good. Uh, that's a good. That's good a good twist promo. On playing in traffic. Listen, it's called. It's called Montezuma. We're a hit. Get it? Yeah, that's good. Or you know what I should do is I should do uh, a collaboration with a steel-toed sneaker for kids. 
so they can tee off on your nuts. <laughs> that's the that skate shoe would be a good idea. Listen, I heard uh, I heard you hang out with some uh, some uh, surly individuals that are into the uh, into the stunt professions and are hilarious. Um, I don't know who you're talking about. Sorry, I don't. How would you know who I'm hanging out with? Exactly, you're hanging out with because it seems like just me and Taylor. But uh, uh, well, I know that your journal says that you want to hang out with somebody in the famous movie business. Look, who here's likes a couple things. things and go poo. So, you know, um, a couple of things. Maybe we don't go through my journal and also my contact list because those are my contacts or I've worked very hard to establish them. And I, it's a, it's a relationship. You have to grow like a plant. It takes nourishment and I don't need you messing that up for me. Ground control on a major time. I can tell, I can tell that you, uh, you pay a service for these numbers. These are out of the time. phone book even. Half of these are 800 numbers. Okay, get Why out. do you have a phone book? Why do you have a personal phone book journal with 800 numbers in here? Why do you have my journal? Don't it's you have not yours. Why do you have that? That's mine. Don't, Don't go through that. Don't you have the internet? Shut that. I have the internet, okay? I like a personal touch. I like Stop, to write wait. things down. Hold on. Hang on. This just in. Ready? Uh, no, it's not news. It's my property. Stop looking through it. This just in. Out of Jason <laughs> Felt Waterfall's notebook. Here's how you put together a successful podcast. Step one, oh, invite no. annoying neighbor. Don't know who you could be referring to. Tay, I would take offense to that. He's calling you annoying. Uh, step two, <laughs> uh, fund it with uh, swindling everybody. Wow, that sounds rude. Uh, I have never swindled anyone. What's that, I don't swindle What's that mic people. Okay. I don't swindle people, okay? That's I not what I do. It. Yeah, you totally did. What am I? I'm not some sort of villain from a cartoon. Or am I? <laughs> Says you. Whatever happened with that cl that copyright issue you had with your name? <sighs> I don't know what you're talking about. Stop going through my journal. See, Put it down. I've seen a I rainbow didn't even know you yesterday. Can read. Of course I can read. How do you think that I get all these sick burns? I write them down. No. I workshop you, them every you, night. You come up with I them thought, all. I thought I ever read them to you every time before you walked in the studio. This this is a new this is a new bit I'm doing. This is the new this is the new Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie Dice Clay. You think that works? I think no. it will think definitely. Taken? I think it is. Yeah, pretty much two thirds taken. I think we all know who we're talking about. Legendary. I don't know what you're talking comedian about. Comedian Andrew Dice Clay. I don't think he'd appreciate it if you stole oh, his act. Oh, that is hilarious. Yeah, but you're trying. I see what you're going to do, and I want to stop you in advance because I'm telling you, it's going to be a lot of trouble for you. You can get in trouble for that. He has this what? Oh, he has an act that I can't do. Is that what you're saying? Well, that and you're not funny. But yeah, you. It's his act. You nah, can't just steal different. someone's act. No, you're annoying. Annoying isn't funny. That's different. <laughs> you're annoying. <laughs> like going through my journal. <laughs> Spying on me in my own window in my own home, annoying. A lonely mother gazing out of the window, staring oh, no. at her son that she just can't touch. If at any time he's in a jam, she'll be by his side. But he doesn't realize he hurts her so much. That's beautiful. What are you reading? Yeah, what are you reading? Because you did not come up with that. There's no way you have that. Your eyes are closed. You can't read that oh, with your no. eyes closed. Here he goes again. Because he can't seem to keep himself out of trouble. So he goes out of his, makes his money the best way he knows how. Another buddy's laying cold at the gutter. Listen to me. Don't go. Jason Waterballs. That's beautiful. No, it's not. It's nonsensical and you're worrying all of us around you, okay? Stop acting like a weirdo. Mm -hmm. You're overheating because you're Just wearing... Don't go, Jason Waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. Hey, listen. I know that you're going to have it your way or nothing at all. But I think you're uh, too fast, Jason. Too fast. You need to take that burlap sack off the top of your head. No. You're overheating. Cool. It doesn't look cool. People are talking. No, it keeps me warm. Everyone I'm was cold talking on the way time. in. 
A lot of no people. one was talking. Yes, I heard five people say as we walked by, that looks like a pilgrim. You don't even know buckle. five people. <laughs> if you knew five people, we would have a double the audience. I didn't know them. I walked by them. They were laughing at you and saying, look at that idiot with the hat on. Definitely not the guy with the ah, hat. It's without called the hat. marketing. It's called marketing. It's called awful. You got to take it off. People are talking, man. Ah, I see what you did there. Get it off all, off all. I get it. That was cute. That was cute. Now you don't, you probably didn't even realize you did that joke, did you? Nope. No, I would because it I wasn't state and effect. Ah, see, you could have did something there with it's awful. Like you should have it off all the time. But uh, yeah, now nah, I wrote it for you. Don't worry. I've been workshopping with error and Glendora. Okay, you weren't talking to my mom, and you just typed stuff into an AI. To you had something. Your mom right thinks I'm you. hilarious. Okay. Your mom thinks I'm hilarious. Oh my god! She I calls almost, me every you know, night, and tells me said, how funny I am. I almost just teed you up and said, "Why don't you get off my mom?" I almost said that, but I I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I would. <laughs> I wouldn't go. I I have much respect for Glendora. We have a we have a plutonic relationship. I respect your father, Glenn. He's also hilarious. He gives me a lot of banter about you nightly. Oh, he they does? worry about you though. What's he say? Yeah. Oh, well, he wishes you could do more. He thought you were doing better with the whole sales bitch thing. He liked the salesman version of you. Uh, you know what? I wish I could talk to your family, but I don't know which of the hills they live in. Ah, don't worry about <laughs> it. They howl at the moon every single night. They're coming for you. If I didn't somewhat feel bad for you, I would keep going and try to make fun of you. But I can't because that's very sad that you, you were got raised. Nothing, by, huh? That no, you're you're raised by wolf people, and they left you there because even as they knew that their primary objective was to keep their child alive inside of the, their little primitive wolf brains, they thought, "I can't. It's too annoying. Let's get the let's uh -oh. get out of here." Yeah. Uh-oh, I just realized something. What? Ah, Tay, do we have a shot where you can see both uh, Jason and I together <clears throat> in a shot? Okay. Does anyone see the resemblance? Of what? No, of what? What, are you, what? You don't see the resemblance? You don't see it? No. No one sees what you're talking you about. don't there. see mm -hmm. it? Right there in the eyebrows? Close up on Jason? Close up on, close up on me? It's uncanny. Nope. I can't see your eyebrows because you. It's like looking in a mirror. I never. I, this is what Glendora has been telling me about all the time. We might be brothers, long lost brothers. We are not brothers. Your mom had a wild nope. past, Jason. No, she did oh, not. We she might was be. a saint. My we mom might be. Was a We're saint. like Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey. We're like Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey. I'm going to tell everybody. We're like brothers. We're not brothers. We're barely neighbors. We I don't are. Even... I don't even like it. I, we're I'm brothers to... from the same mothers. No, we're not. We're not. You're, no mom. way. You're not. I would e never disrespect mom. I don't think you're all Ruffin. human. That There's no way you're my brother. threw you away. That's not true. No. Was... Nope. Actually, I'm okay let me with back it. that up. There it was could cool. Be some the truth wolves are that. cool. There could be some truth <laughs> to what he said before. <laughs> oh, my God. Good the wolves Lord. are cool. Are you made of flint? The wolves are cool. I liked mm. hanging out with them. Yeah. The, the the wolves are cool. I liked hanging out with them. Yeah, you and they taught me out. a lot. And what then Glendora you... came back around later in life. Maybe that's why she was around. She would put milk out for me when I was younger. You didn't realize that, did you? Uh, no, because at no point did we live here. No, your I mom would come here on vacation. And leave no, milk shut out. Shut up. That says no. She didn't stop it. You are now. You're now. You're hallucinating because of the heat coming off that dumb hat no. of yours. No way. That's I mean, uh, how I how I came to be. I definitely. I was think a vacation milkman story. Let's just say Glenn was traveling around a lot. How about another story? And the milkman was around. Hmm. Stories. Does this make Love you uncomfortable that we could story. be brothers? Mm. This is why we're both hilarious. The Isn't good news the for you, Jason. The good news for you, Jason, is that you too can be funny. We've got the same mom. Maybe your dad yeah. was a dud. 
Glenn was maybe not that funny. Oh, he, actually, okay. he's hilarious. Back it skips to a generation. News. That's real cute. This is such a fun podcast. Anyway, next story. Officials find Michigan woman trapped inside <laughs> toilet over one stinking gadget. Bagley Township, Michigan. A woman um, was rescued Tuesday from an outhouse toilet in northern Michigan as she climbed to retrieve her Apple Watch and became trapped. The woman, whose name was not released, lowered herself inside the toilet after dropping the watch at the Department of Natural Resources boat launch at Dixon Lake in Otsego County's Bagley Township. State police said Wednesday in a release. Did you say Dixon Lake in Bagley Township? Dixon Lake, yeah. I love, yeah, in Dixon Bagley Lake. Township? Wow, a bag yeah, of dicks Dixon over there. Yeah, Dixon Lake in Bagley Township. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds it cool. It says it right here on the copy. All right, just go on. Cool. Dixon Lake, yeah, Bagley Dick- Township. Dixon Lake, Bagley Township. What? I don't understand it. What's funny? Anyway, a bag cool. of dicks. Dig a whole bag of dicks. Oh, wait, sorry. Go ahead. First responders were called when the woman was heard yelling for help. The toilet was removed. Did they release and a, a bag of dicks? Used to haul the woman out. <laughs> I'm hold on. Let me read. I don't see anything about a bag of no nothing. If you lose an item in an outhouse toilet, do not attempt to venture inside the containment area. Serious injury may Should occur, Dixon State Dixon Police toilet. said in the release. Should have been called Dixon Toilet. Cliffhanger, guys. The State Police did not say Wednesday if the woman was injured or the watch was recovered. How about that? That's a story. All I, like all I can that think story. about is, is big bag of dicks. Did they release? Yeah, the so all I all I got out of it was a uh, there was a woman guys, that had uh the dropped uh the dropped the dropped a watch full of dicks and dicks and lakes. I think we're starting to lose <laughs> him, Ted. I really think he's starting to go me. someplace. I nope. think he's starting to really fall off the mortal coil here. I don't know what's happening. Did you do something different on the way into the studio today? Because it. I mean, not yeah, your put on a sweet terrible hat. appearance. Nope. Yeah. No, what, what, I think you might have maybe <laughs> had something that was laced with something because you're not acting yourself. What's what happens? What's going on with you? I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's about great. that time. To wash your extensions? Do you like my skateboard? No. Yeah, I kind of like it. There? I kind of like it. Um. What do you got? What do you got going on with your? What do you got going on with your knee over there? I forgot to tell you. Um, this is embarrassing. Um, ah, Tay's got the same thing. I suffer from knuckle kneecap syndrome. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, it's better than it was birth, last time. I've been working it out. I've been working out the kinks. I at, like it. At birth, uh, I was I was blessed. We, as we say in our support group, I was blessed with two knuckles coming out of my uh, kneecap. And uh, you know what? It's a gift. It's yeah. not. It's not a handicap. Okay, that's what we all say. Feels really great. Yeah, I mean, I've been in that's pain. Cold. And our catchphrase well, in our support I mean, no. group: Who wants a knuckleball when you got a knuckle cap? How about that? I always heard if it, if it goes as deep as a knuckle, or something about as deep as a knuckle. I don't know. That's why last last I heard. Oh, you hear anything about that? No, I heard nothing about it. You're like you're like knuckle deep in that knee right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. It's I was born this way, and uh, as Lady Gaga says, I shouldn't be uh, ashamed of nah, it. No, no, knew you were gonna do it. I knew it. I was born this way. I want to hear the Gaga line. Yes, baby, I was born this way. <laughs> so there, don't shame me. You Listen, can't shame there me. There can only be one pop cultural icon on this show, and that's obviously me. Look at the way I'm dressed. I know what the kids like. All the, the comedies. The kids like to kick you in the nuts. That's what they like to I do. I rip. <laughs> you reek. I let the kids say you, a your rip. Head, your head now reeks. It smells like the inside of an inner tube. Yeah. I was hanging out at the dispensary. They told me that I should just like uh, use it to mop the floor up, and it gives it more authenticity. Wow. It's just bad. You don't like it? No. It's, I, I, I can't say it's improved anything. And that rat hair coming out of the back of it is disgusting. Where did you find that extension, by the way? You know how expensive you know how expensive extensions are? There's no way you paid full price for good hair. I'm not gonna tell you where I got a hookup, but I got a hookup. Where did you buy the extensions from? That's expensive. I'm not gonna tell you. I told you. They wow. A horse. Somebody loaned me the money. 
Nope, somebody loaned me the money. Nobody loaned you any money. They know better than that. Well, they said it was an investment. All right, who loaned you money? I'll buy it. Fine. No, I can't say. You can't say? I can't say. say. I, cannot, I cannot confirm or deny that your, uh, that your inheritance has been uh, smartly invested in okay. other places. You're talking about my parents. Again, stop it. Would you stop with that already? It's enough. It's disrespectful. It's not disrespectful. We're best friends. No, you're not. You don't communicate. They would never communicate with you. You. I talk to them daily. You're a feral animal. And I know because you're wearing <laughs> one on your head. Listen, let's just say that uh, Glendora invested in our futures together. I said I needed a new look to update for the show. I needed to connect with the Next youth. Next time he's going to show up in one of those beaver hats they used to they used to make. That would oh, make more that's sense a great than idea. this. idea. That would make more sense than this because of where he's from. No, no, no. Come on now. Yeah, I think, uh, honestly, if I had to choose between, I would say beaver hat or raccoon hat over what you're wearing now. All right. Cap, as the kids say. You've got to wear a beaver or raccoon hat. You you have to. I don't need to. That's not what I need to do. Like, you need... Nope, nope. New looks. You look like Glendora you're... and I have been talking about a new updated look for you. We're really bored with this, yeah, uh, right. this straight-laced... Uh, what is it? Uh, Dockers Casual? Yeah, this is this is what uh, this is what this is standard hitchman attire. Okay, this stuff. This is my uniform. You? No, you look like you're wearing a, a woolen welder's hat. You look like LL Dullard over there. No, nope, we're, we're getting worse. We're getting worse. We're running out of things. To... Nope, I can never run out of things to say to you. Fifty-three minutes. Ah, well, maybe I can. Okay, can I edit this? <laughs> Time to go. Yeah. How long ago? Oh, this is too long. Well, that, that's it for tonight. <laughs> Another no, that, classic that, that, episode. That, 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 that's all, folks. That's all. You're gonna, you you're guys gonna... should go check out Half Gas. They're really cool. They let me hang out there. Not really. I'm not really allowed to hang out there. 